Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today there's glorious sunshine. And let's have a look at this guy in good light. Hey, the scarf is actually a piece of rag. Uh, still wearing the old German, World War II German, uh, what you call pants, riding pants, German boots. McFarlane uh, base, I think it's 112 or 118. Ikea plant. And then a leather jacket. With a menu, menu uh, jersey. <laughs> okay. Let's have a quick look over this side. Okay, one reason I show you guys the again uh, is because of the the head scalp here, or more precisely the face. Now this item is actually a. Uh, uh, a kid item I can't remember from which kid but I think it's a, from an a, from a easy and simple kit I think okay. it's straight off the kit I haven't done any uh, painting or detailing yet but you can see the uh, the relief compression is very very well done now for this type of uh, this type of, this type of his cover is the more current one i've seen pain, painted his cups like this one uh, go for as much as maybe 50 60 us dollars this one is raw uh, out of the box okay let's look at one of those uh, standard old vintage Cut on focus see it's, it's actually a very very toy like or what this is an old this is this one this one is an old dragon. This is this is an old dragon. Which I use for these two these two figures. These two. Now for this sort of his scalp, how far how far can you go with what I show you uh with what I show what I have shown you uh I think in the earlier part of this uh, this uh, one six ranger uh, series. Okay, this is this this head scalp is actually uh, on par with this one. But this one is for this one is actually uh, more or less only have the. Uh, let me get a proper grip. Proper grip. Stabilize the camera. Okay, one more time. Okay, for this, for this uh, face itself. Of course, obviously, I chose this uh, his scalp is because the eyes is looking upwards to suit the to suit the stance. Okay, for this particular one, the facial the facial uh, features itself, the re re relief uh, is actually picked out by washes like what i shown you uh i think how many a few days back i i, I can't remember the parts then um, of course this being a uh, 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 mountainous wintery since 
some whites that were applied uh, as no to the brow and the beard but basically this is what you can do with only a wash this is only a wash no? without without the the red the red uh, brush applied yet oh i miss i missed it so if so even even for this uh, it could be better with just uh, some some uh, red red uh, some red wash i think i totally missed out this guy yeah even the tear hole is not red the lips yeah i think i missed out the red but even 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 if i totally miss out it still uh, looks uh, much better with only wash compared to this the same type of his cup now for for anyone anyone uh, including uh, guys like me uh, who, who are supposedly uh, to be in the hobby for monkeys here uh, it's good to have this cup this type of uh, old scalps old uh, old heads you know just to just to knock around with practice with your paint with your solvent with your techniques and with uh, some practice very little practice it can be turned into something like that come on focus turn into something like that okay this is paint over the original original whatever factory had 20 30 years 30 years back this one okay for more 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 crazier stuff uh, when you are when uh, i get this thing seated focused okay for more crazier stuff this i think is the 21st century gi joe item okay yesterday i actually uh did some tests on the different paint but but as you can see uh, it's, it's the surface finish is, uh, is, is the same as this one but even uh, just now yet yesterday just by uh, some uh, quick washes come on focus okay some detail already show, show up okay give me a second and pull off uh, let me see okay then we come to gunny seat gunny seat the thing came out from from the from from the same uh, factory i think it came actually came with this uh this uh original socket okay for gunny one same same kind of factory paint job i actually i actually have uh, done gunny uh, into into uh, some a bottle of dinner strip off strip off everything here every every paint including the 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 ice which i you know i don't do and came up with uh, something like this focus we just wash this only then of course the eye uh, the eyes for me is, is a very very something uh, I, I, I my eyes cannot do my my fingers cannot do nowadays so you can come up with something again okay just a suggestion just practice with the those you know those old old, old head scalp you have in the drawer then come up with some 
can come up with something like that, which right now, given the, given uh, this this diorama, I find it good uh, to put on this diorama. Okay, let's get on with the with the build. Let me put some put this stuff away. Okay, one one reason. <laughs> One of the, one of the few reasons that actually I put Ghani's head here is not because the is 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 well done, but because originally for this diorama I wanted the two figures in contrast. There there is on the tarmac how there's a one guy uh, is in the full swing of things uh, to throw to throw a grenade. Okay. The other one is sit slum. Sit slum at the at the at the ram uh, waiting for the to be loaded onto a transport plane which never arrived because of birds. Okay, that's the idea. So originally I think in part one or part two. I mentioned I I show I show you guys uh, with this head cup this head cup oops so sorry sorry uh okay so for so like I say, I want the contrast between these two. This one is in full is in full motion. This guy set set slum slum uh, at the at the ram resting on his backpack, falling falling asleep. I think the with this head scalp, I show you guys something like that. Then over <laughs> over the time. I built the fishing pole. Then actually, for this few uh, series, I was I was trying to incorporate this uh, this thing into the fishing pole. Uh, this fishing pole into the diorama. But yesterday, looking at the diorama and this one, I think uh, is best. The best way to go is take off this fishing pole, so it will, it will not cause any uh, uh, distraction. Yeah. Because with the fishing pole here, one tend to focus on the fishing pole. So I removed that one and went back to square one. Okay, with this uh, gunny, uh, now I see slum. Falling asleep. Let me cock the head in a circle. Okay. Something like that. Okay, falling asleep. Okay, so get back to what we did yesterday. Okay, I had the what we painted yesterday, the 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 the, the, the pets, the elbow, the knee pets and the elbow pets already mounted. Okay. I look at the I look at the backpack and the daylight. Look at the the mini me guns and the dry brush, but still uh, unwashed. Uh, what 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 you call magazine? Okay, uh, then uh the the the, 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 the hammer cover itself. So okay, so another one another reason why I move decided to move the fishing pole is with the with the fishing pole the best I could now uh, is okay I given this line. I have this guy are seated this way. With with this with this portion covering up the line the line from here to here. Okay. So this one you can squeeze the figure in, but it takes some takes something out of the the lines and contrast. So right now this guy is basically sitting like that. So there's a there's a bit of space, a bit of gap here. Then you can see the see the how you call 
the difference between earth, tarmac, boots, pants, or whatever. The 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 color and shades are not. I don't. I won't say work. But the color and shades are in the detail here. It's more defined. Better to bring out this one and he spread out the the figure a bit more. So poop the the fishing pole is uh, gone. Okay, so 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 right now we will go proceed to detail Gani. Ah, another thing to note. Okay, previously I told you this guy is uh, weathered, ready to go on this diorama. But Gani being built but somewhat weathered now is the two is actually very different. It that they do not have the same feel of being you know in the same situation at the same time. So with this, with the with the with the weathering and somewhat detailing detailing done, the these two uh, matches in feel uh, a bit more closely now. Okay. This is this this type of uh, this type of uh, matching matching up uh, or blending in of. Uh, Figures to vehicle, maybe a plane to the sky. It's actually modelers in plastic, in, in the smaller plastic scale, actually pay a lot of attention. With some of them, I uh, don't actually uh, build, spend much time building, but they just build the build the kit in maybe a few hours. Some of the kits when I was doing, uh, maybe in say one or two hours. And spend a lot of time uh, on on things like color sheet, the extra ammo box or whatever added on to the the kit finish kit uh, tank itself. This is actually one of the reason uh, why I always hop on simple things uh, like color and sheets. It's actually not difficult, like it's actually uh, each one has their own style. Then I'm I'm not the not the best in doing this thing also, but they are still hit and misses. But I tell you to enjoy skill hobby further, this is something uh, you might consider to, to go into. You know, after all these years, I'm still figuring out uh, uh, enamel paints. <laughs> Only enamel paints. Okay, so let's get back to uh, detailing this one. So what will I do? I will take out this pack. We will start detailing this pack. Then we will move from uh, forward. Okay, the pack already off. Off with the pack. Okay, so for this one, this one actually the the reverse is actually a metal copper. See, it's actually metal copper. I don't want it to be shiny shiny metal. I don't want it to be shiny metal copper that you can just see from ten feet away. It's just there's there's some copper if you look it closer. It's not intrusive and shiny uh, and like, uh, it will attract you to this part. This is this is this copper part is the part that during the wash I try to brush brush out some uh, some metal but the pest actually, actually turned out well yeah. okay enough with this guy put it aside we we'll start with this one now for for uh, Alice Pack, Alice Pack uh, Diorama building I actually had this uh, the, the metal frame removed uh, and used on other di diorama This is only empty pack With not even the backstripe Which I also used on some other, uh, some other diorama What I needed uh, is actually a represent representation of a pack 
Okay? On the tarmac. Now with the with this thing on the tarmac and the crotch of the guy uh, in like that. If I don't tell if I don't tell if I don't tell you now uh, you wouldn't even know uh, the frame and the and the and the straps are missing. See? Because there are also other straps, then uh, the the eye the the your the eyes is actually taken off a lot of details. Okay, so I think I better keep this thing again. This thing really need to tie down, tie down to the to the thing uh, after it complete. I have a few sets of this one. I I think another one or two sets uh, from this one. Then when this thing came off and you start tidying, it never appears again. Okay, so now what do I do? I tell you what, we'll carry from here uh, without removing this gun, this uh, machine gun. So the pack normally will be carried over the uh, over the shoulder in this in this position. Okay. Over the shoulder in this position with of course the heavier stuff on top. Yeah, so it makes sense. So we will keep the the gun the gun here, and then we will move from there, move from here. Okay, so how do I do it? Okay, I think I think we'll do it uh, the fast and dirty way. We will get some get some get some things. Get some, uh, get some, get some uh, interest going under this, uh, under the gun, and maybe do something here. Not sure what to do, but we'll do something there. A piece of rag. Let's choose a suitable <coughs> colorful portion and just cut. But how big do I want it? Okay, I need the edges. I need colorful edges. So roughly something like that. This is also the same the one one reason I use uh very thin very thin cotton fabric uh, that that uh they are used. This is this cotton is actually from one of my Colombia vented uh, Colombia vented fishing shirts. Do, this those shirts are expensive. So after years of using thinning out the the shirts, even uh, even if they are worn out uh, under the arm piece uh, or torn or ton tear a tear here there there the price i pay for that uh that the uh, columbia <laughs> columbia fishing vented fishing shirt i think it's called, called Om omniscient or something like that it's now even uh put to use okay so this one we'll get this thing under the rifle and see how it goes Okay. okay, I think the I think the when you when I think when dry uh, the color the color will be good. So we we'll relieve some pressure from the stripes. Okay, we we'll need to paint this uh weather this thing later on. Now I know you guys uh, sometimes uh, some uh, it the uh, I still have the it most of the guys from Facebook still haven't made it uh, to YouTube yet. You can judge by from my from my view uh, that it, there's only there's only uh, maybe about fifty sixty the most. 
But I can tell you if I'm, I'm this one if I post it in Facebook, the guys will say, "Oh, come on, James." People don't jump uh, with a, a machine gun and a magazine attached, blah, 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 blah. But what, but what, what, I, often, what I often tell them is in skill modeling. Okay, this is skill, this is skill modeling. Then for me, uh, it's actually uh, some time, uh, time taken off, taken off uh, from my, from my, uh, daily daily uh, routine to relax hey silly me i forgot the quiz <sighs> hey, forgot the quiz okay maybe 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 more and i dry it out again <sighs> give me a second guys dry it out a bit Okay. Right now it's dry to a dry. It's actually dry to a stage where quiz can be introduced inside, and then most importantly, the 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 frilling of the edges are taken off. You you got good good quiz here. So one of the fast and dirty method is actually lighter. Okay, the lighter will, will also uh, darken. Of course, I will darken the edges with the with the with the burn with uh, with a. Uh, Bun 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 Then of, of of course me being me, okay, it's it's much tidier. More burn marks. Just to create some. Uh, where's the correct side? This under side. Okay. This side will go uh, on top. It's the top side actually. Uh, I get I, I get my the other lighter. Okay, so we'll burn some off the top side. Is, is it not a lighter thing? Off the off the fan. Okay, 
some some sort of burn some sort of burn marks here and there. Oh, not a good day for lighter. Even this one, the light, the gas is running out. But yeah, I think I think I think I have but I think you get an idea. Okay, some uh so right now is right now is at the at the suitable 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 really dry stage it can hold some pieces. Okay, so we'll go it under the under the gun and then we'll work we'll work the thing from there. This uh, this is actually the 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 method uh, I use on the pants on the pants on the sh on the shirts. Uh, where is it? On things like that. You know the 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 shirts like that. This is just never something that you dung it in PVA pump. And then you know just just let nature do its work no it has it has to be you know uh somewhat handled sculpt, sculpted or something like that okay this 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 piece of uh pain pain tailing cloth might be some kind of wrap might maybe some kind of wrap uh, that one puts uh, puts uh, on the to wrap up the the weapons and then tie it onto the tie it onto the backpack uh, just to protect it from from dust or whatever whatever uh, they might be they might kite shit on the carry handle. Or whatever uh, they might come come at in uh, when the when at the landing zone. So it's off with this one. Off with this one, this one. Okay, so I think I think we have we have something we can work with. Free of charge. And what is it? Is that is that strap that I just removed? This is the other side. Maybe I go it this way to hold the to hold the piece of a uh, rack, or to help hold the piece of rack. You know, see, see, you see, all these things actually is not planned, or or your uh, I'm a uh, experienced expert or whatever. It's just something that you know. When you when you get fitted in, get fitted in, things items will appear. Then we just do whatever, whatever is there. Okay, so to hold to hold this uh, to hold this tab, the other side, more or less. Okay, so we so right now we have something that appears to be to be uh, to be uh, a wrap a wrap or tap over a protective wrap or tap over something that something that is strapped to a parachute to be to be uh, to be dropped. Uh, yeah, put some to this side. Uh, yes, I think we have enough length, we enough length, we, 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 we enough creases, enough, just enough. Okay, so to to okay. show off the, the size of the detail, detail of the of the back side. Okay, we buy this thing. We buy this thing.
Okay, so we have we have created we have created create we have created more visual interest. There's a bit more hole here. Okay, more hole here. More holes here naturally. Some here. Some here. Some here. Okay, so we will have something like that. It's not a bit it's not very prominent it's not very it's not very prominent but it's there again it's something like you know is you know the machine gun is there but if when you take a closer look oh it's wrapped in a piece of shit <laughs> oh then when you, when you look closer oh it's not it's not any ordinary piece of shit it's a crisp piece of shit with with a painting done on it which turned out to not to be true it's just a paint, paintbrush cleaning rag. Okay, things like that. Okay, maybe, maybe a cut here. Maybe a hole here to let the to let the side go through and help hold the thing down. Of course, all these things, uh, all, all, all these things are, are, are actually extra details. Extra detail. Then, if actually uh, with much practice, uh, it can be done quite, quite fast, quite easy. Okay, so with the heavy, with the front side help holding this thing more crease more whatever can we go into this thing again okay so okay something something like that okay the, some rays here uh, to maybe focus the eye then continue from there all from all from a piece of a planted purposely planted a uh, cleaning rack Then basically, uh, yeah, I, I'm recycling a piece of uh, my old, my old, uh, my old fishing shirt, and then at this current state, it's it's a uh, free of charge detail. Almost, except for this, a few drops of a uh, PVA. Okay, so we get into this one. Let's define this thing a bit further by maybe wrapping this thing around. To help define the the, the gun barrel, if I can do it, is there enough length? I think there should be enough length. There should be enough length. But if I wrap it 360, will it go under? Go with the Velcro? Yep. Okay. More defined more things sticking out here and there okay this is actually uh, on, you know on, on Facebook I try to explain this type of thing oh. in picture and text but it actually don't don't carry well so for this thing machine gun will leave it there except to fix the missing handle Now to fix this one, there are actually two ways. Uh. The obvious way is actually the is, is actually a super glue. But I think I'll need some of this PVA later on. So we'll do it with PVA. So what do I do? Why 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 do I do this? I need the PVA to dry up. Dry up someone. Uh. For for patches. Okay. 
I think that's more than we need. Okay. So the other way, the other way to do it is, but the aeroplane canopy uh, growing method, PVA. This thing will dry clear. It will dry clear, but it will not dry thin. It'll take some more, some more. Gold. And shove this thing in. Shove this thing in. Okay, later we'll get on to reinforcing uh, even things like this uh, fragile handle here to reinforce this thing. Hopefully, if I can remember. So the next thing to balance out, balance our pack is uh, the top here. I tell you what, I do. I will do a we'll do, do we'll do a fast camouflage net. Turn on the fan. Check the focus again. Okay, I think. Check the focus again. Okay, camouflage net. Hair net. Some uh, hobby moths. What else do I need? What else do I have? Okay, maybe gummy, gummy strings. And. Maybe some some green leaves. Okay, let's get back. Let's get to it. <coughs> no, I don't know how much. How much one of those uh, hair nets uh, uh, cost in other other places? But this piece actually costs about Singapore 15, 20 cents each. And if I remember correctly, uh, I only need half of it. So we this one. So we have a hair net. Okay. We have a hair net. So the way to do it is spread out the net. Spread out the net. Okay, you get those uh Please don't let me turn off the fan again. Okay. We are doing with the with the head of this again. Things are different uh, when you're recording when you're recording and working. <laughs> okay. So we'll get the first layer on the outside of the net first. Some uh, some greens. Okay. Real, real foliage, hobby foliage. Okay, these are actually a uh, real, real, real points uh, I pick off of the garden. Okay, get into a suitable length of size, a bit longer. Uh, this is for the this is for the outer 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 edges. Okay, more cut in. Okay. Get a few pieces of the of the of of uh, green green. Okay. This this thing actually I I posted it on you not on YouTube, Facebook I think about two three years back. Again with uh, pictures. It's for my operation rate sky bill uh, of few figures. But it's at that point in time at that point in time is uh, done with uh, picture and text. Right now you're seeing it live guys on YouTube. Okay, some okay this for for this uh particular most I'm getting getting uh is there is actually quite fragile now. It's actually quite fragile. It needs a uh, you know those uh, 
bonder uh, or some some something like white glue to 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 hold, to hold, to help bond it. So as it turns out, I, we don't need the garden string. So I'll uh, come to the next 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 next. Oh, sorry, talking uh, talking talking. I don't I forgot to check. Okay, never mind. We use the we will use the whole net because. I, just now I forgot to check and then it's actually placed at the center. If I it's placed to one side, I can cut off the other side and reuse the other side. Okay, more more of this thing to actually help help hold the hold the moss in place. So the next thing is to we do is actually have to just wrap the whole thing. Okay, like that. Maybe we cut off the the piece of a uh, the piece of a uh, what we call this one knot here. They actually tie this thing here. Okay, cut off the knot here. Throw this thing inwards. Cut off. Do I do a cut off the knot here? Yeah, I think we have to cut off the knot here. As, as you can see, it's not placed in the center right now. Uh, it's a bit messy. Okay, throw away this one. Again, pull in this one. Check the length again. And then, we just go away. And remember, uh, this part, the darker part, is to be the inside. So, we will wrap this thing and then, from the outside, it will look something like that. Okay, actually for this uh, hairnet, my, my experience, one time over is not enough, we require two times. So once, one time, two time, and it will basically hold everything in. See? Okay, fiddle, fiddle with the edges again a bit. With it just a bit, and we have a happy pack of package, something like that. Something like that. Okay, to go on this thing fast and dirty, uh, fast and dirty way of doing camouflage. Let's Okay, get this my area pin up somewhat. Keep this thing, keep this thing. Then we'll do the camouflage net here. Because this thing is going to be dropped. Drop in this position. The, these two straps will be released and then you'll you'll drop below the the feet and then make his way to the ground and then here so yeah we're doing here again after getting the after getting this uh fabric uh position someone right okay again again we we Let go of this one somewhat. Release the stripe, and then stick the stick the camouflage netting towards this side. Okay, so it's sitting uh, towards the ground to cover this line, to cover the non-existence of the frame of the of the straps. <laughs> I need more space. So, grab the ends here, grab the ends here, we will go crazy and go for the full length, we'll do that, okay, release more, release more, 
comes it to here, here, so that the netting can go in. Okay, so the top part, the attractive part, it seems to be here. Also, this thing going this way. Way. Now for this for, for this one at the end uh, normally I will shoot it with uh, things like a uh, hobby fixative but I run away. I think I, I ran out of that I think about two three views back. Still still haven't gotten around to getting getting uh, another supply. In fact, that bottle was actually a leftover from from one of my children's uh, uh, school project, I think a few years back. Okay. My eyes, my eyes, my eyes. The uh, yeah, time is still coming in. Yeah. Yeah, so, tighten. Tighten. So we come to something like that. Done fiddling, handling, then it's not even center. <laughs> so okay, so for this one. So we we'll end up with the top looking something like that. I tell you what, let's go crazy. Since the thing is going to land this way, and then looking over here. I saw something from a hot, I think it's a hot toys kit. At first when I opened the box, of course the, the kit was never built up. I actually buy kits to take it apart for parts. I, I, now, I actually, nowadays I really, really, uh, on, never, I can say it safely, never. I buy a new kit. Then build uh, maybe two or three figures from one box with of course, of course extra parts, extra bodies. Okay, so actually when I got this uh, in that uh, hot toys kit, I I didn't know what it was. No, I thought it was something like something like a something like a you know a spacer or something. Then but the place the the place. This thing had was inside one of those, uh, you know, those bubble, vacuum bubble, uh, wrap, uh, bu bubble, bubble cup things like, like this. Then it dawned on me that this is actually uh, something that during the 80s, I think even now, I think even now, when they, when they uh, extract a vehicle from a low flying aircraft to be dropped, Flying aircraft to be dropped. This is this is uh, the cushioning they actually put under the vehicle. Lots of this. Then of course, I was in the in the process of throwing it away, until I realized, oh, this is actually uh, one of those things. I had it cramp up, and then it's broken. See, so right now this thing will go on here. To make people wonder. To make people wonder and then possibly to as I say to strengthen this thing. So back to the piece of cardboard, where is it? Okay, listen. Okay, some almost right PVA. This will this will help help to speed up the drying process. Okay, some here. Okay, this thing goes back. Oops. Some here. 
this thing goes right but not here because it, it's extra detail so we introduce a bit more of this you know this uh yeah, but not test okay, not not test to get to get uh, to get things on the aeroplane there are certain standards Yeah. You see, uh, this thing is so <laughs> actually uh, so so old. I think uh, the, the glue also uh, has started to give way. If I were to do this uh, with uh, with you know this uh, PVA off a new bottle, uh, it will take forever to dry. Okay, so we have this thing reinstated. Then right now we are go to doing what I said. Or oh, do I have? Do I want to really want to go with this? Yeah, I think I think I think you will people wonder what the heck is this. This way better or this way better? I think this way is better. This way, I looks uh, had the impression of being behind in the jail. Yeah, this is better. So let's go crazy now. Again, uh, cheap things like cops. In this case, is in this case, this is a. Uh, I got this in the set. It's one millimeter wax cord, not string cord. It's actually braided cord, wax. So I want this further detail on top. Let's do it the other way. So the other way on top. Okay. okay. Yeah, then, then we will tie it from there. So how do we tie it? How do we tie how do we tie it? So I got this thing tied. Okay, I think we're stuck on this pop stuff on the straps here. So the length we need then have more then we need keep, uh, keep everything in, in keep everything as my workspace is small so we have this can go in how do we do it okay we are tied off here no, uh, the other thing actually I encountered uh, uh, when I actually when I came back to hobby in one six, it's actually people have the impression that not only everything has to be authentic, it has to work like the real thing. That means you put on the clothes in a certain way, it has to be button what it has to be like that, like that. If If the weapon, if, if, if a weapon, do it this way. If a weapon uh, is like that in real in real life, it has to be like that. Then of course, when you get something out of the box like that, somehow somehow. I don't understand it, but people get the idea that oh, because it's one six, it can be uh, what we call taken out apart. Maybe have it uh, washed, laundered, 
like the real thing. It's, it's something I don't understand. Of course, being uh, being from the from the from the plastic scales, uh, I tend to look at this thing as almost almost ready made parts. Then in the in the eighties, uh, with plastic, uh, cotton, metal, blah blah blah. At that point in time, in nineteen eighty four, it's called a multimedia kit. Last time used to be, last time used to be uh, all plastics. So in so sometime around 1990, 1984, it became a, it became a some what is called multimedia. Wait ah. Uh, Resins, epoxies came into came 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 in, came as a uh, accessories. Then after that, I think it's a photo edge part, photo etched part, blah 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 blah, you know. But nowadays, uh, it, it, nowadays is is the norm. But somehow, somehow I don't get it. There's some pe people tend to think, oh, this is a, this in real life it can be taken apart, it can be taken apart, it can be what? Then uh, I don't go to the border of. You know, gluing parts, uh, gluing parts, gluing parts, uh, reinforcing parts, even tying up parts. You know, like this handle that came off. There's actually one guy that I talked to in person in Singapore that told me the real thing is also like that. from the bottom like that okay we do a rough tie here rough tie here rough tie here yeah no it's not it's not the the, all this renting is not the it's not that I'm whatever it's just a different kind of a perspective then then what then what actually what do I see nowadays especially those uh, those are uh, from this uh, currently those are uh, what are the Marvel collectors oh I tell you what, personally, yeah, though I live, personally, I think this uh, when when uh, Hot Toys got on Marvel, Marvels uh, to 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 sell to to keep their sales figures up, it's very it's very bad for the hobby industry. For the for the collector figure industry maybe, but for for military hobby, yeah, it's very bad. Hot toys when hot toys when they are producing a uh, when they are producing kids uh, ten years ago uh, another surprise uh, guys uh, Marvel Marvel guys the price the prices that you pay for your your this uh, Marvel Marvel Captain America or whatever uh, we did it uh, about ten ten years ten years ago that, that is what hot, hot toys did to us. <laughs> Okay, we are paying. We are we are paying prices. Your your this uh, Captain America prices ten years ago now. Okay, so a rough tie up. Let's get more detail. Get more details in. Okay, so a rough tie up. We have an anchor point here. So a so a, a big knot here. A big knot here. Not, not necessary to be centered, but it will be nice. Okay, a bit not here. But we 
want this thing to be down here reinforce the knot with a drop of super glue okay not super glue so it will, it will appear like you know. so do we need this thing here yes just continue from here go up from here then we will reinforce this center now as you may recall <coughs> Uh, from my from my view, from my previous view, I keep on telling telling guys, ah, uh, cords soaked in super glue will do everything from radio antenna, those uh, those uh, uh com gear com gear uh, cables, whatever. Then for this guy, even uh even a uh, a uh, uh, carabiner carabiner keeper just to hold this thing in place so here is actually a uh, here actually uh, i'm trying to reinforce this handle so the obvious way to eh, did i get the orientation correct okay so it's resting like that this thing like that this thing is already good this thing is goes up okay we'll use this one so actually yeah uh, to 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 get this thing to get this thing uh reinforced it's just a matter of wrapping it up okay so uh, so obviously so obviously for air, airborne it might it, it it might be tied up the machine gun might, might be tied up. Besides the besides the parachute straps. Hey. My eyes, my fingers. Eyes and fingers. Okay. This one. This way. So we have basically a strap that goes from uh, a length that goes from here, which we will super glue soak. But not the handle, no. Not the not not this handle. We don't want super glue all over the handle. So we need another support from here to somewhere. Get what I mean? Or maybe uh, even uh, back to this side. Or maybe behind. Okay. So we'll see what comes naturally. What looks good. No hard and fast rules. But the idea is to get this uh, handle uh, not only glue but reinforced. Which also, which also make uh come back to the story i was ranting about now when when people get the idea of i see everything need to be taken apart for blah 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 doing things like that uh, believe me a lot will have, will have arguments too no? no i don't want the good thing to do i want this thing uh, to be uh taken apart uh, when i resell my figure or i want to sell the 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 whatever uh, as a separate accessory i want that option i mean come on now uh. if we were to sell this thing or if we were to sell a pack like that which one which one will which one will do better and this pack even don't even have a strap or, or the or the original frame okay so we're super 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 glue soak on this part okay as it dries goes on to the top it'll bring the ice to the top it okay, goes on to the top okay go to the top okay this part from this part is super glue soak okay it's super glue soak it will dry hard Okay, it, it will it will dry it will dry 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 uh hard, rock hard. Provided it's uh soaked. 
but but not the not even the strap underneath. So this part, this part is not super glue. It's not super glue soap, but it will draw details to the wrap. The almost same color wrapping, same color, uh, uh, whatever. Uh. See, same color, same color, same color, whatever. We draw the eyes to uh, the this uh, this uh, this uh, rack. Okay, this one. Okay, because this thing is, is 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 this thing is velcro and it came off. A wrap over the over the velcro. A, a wrap over the velcro this side and a wrap over the velcro this side. And perhaps maybe we'll tie off over the velcro over the velcro. I think we'll do that. I mean, if you want to, if you want to sell this, uh, sell the sell the gun later on. Just cut off the string. Maybe maybe uh, bring some new polish remover to the to the to the handle here. You can easily remove a whatever. Um, that two dots uh, that was uh, you know super super good on okay so we have something like that and another piece of string I left over so with the thing coming like that one loop here one loop here is there one loop too many Okay, one is that one look too many. Okay, since this part is super glue, screw on. I don't think we need this look. It's too, you know, too prominent. So we'll cut off this thing here. Here it becomes a much tidier, tidier tie. But do we need this thing? The other side of the string. Do we really need it? Okay, maybe, maybe. No. Going back, going up, going, going, tying up the camel. Okay, okay let's tie it up with the camel first net with two simple loops. Simple loose look, looks. One here goes behind here, under here, to here. Perhaps not. To here, not. To here, not. There's no way to go through. Let's make it an appearance of being the not not the the. Is it too busy? Or? No, just go with one loop. Two loops are mix it. Mix it are too busy. So we'll just do a simple loose appearance of a tie down. Give me a few seconds, guys. After that, we'll we'll add some patches. Now, okay, okay. patches, uni sign, whatever. For those for those that uh, are on to on to you know those uh, this ranger unit needs to have this uh, patch needs to be authentic to this particular unit to have this authentic patch my view my two cents now people don't enlist don't and en don't actually enlist into units like the rangers like the navy seals like sas okay they they don't enlist into it 
they enlist into into the army, get assigned to a unit, and then from the unit, they make their mark. Work hard, make their mark. Then uh, apply to be in the SAS, to be in the SEALs, to be in the Green Beret, Rangers, so on and so forth. So actually, this guy did people people like that. Okay, guys, guys like that, they actually move around in in step increment. So as they move in around in units for patches, it uh, usually they have, will have their own original original uh, unit patches as well as you know mementos when you when you go training with some of the guys uh we exchange the things like bitcoin uh, not bitcoins uh those uh those are uh, you know those are uh, unique coins what 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 do, what 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 did what, what did they what did they call it in the u.s unique coin or something like that patches you know mementos between between your your training mates so we we'll have something like that so do i need patches here which i prepared the group do i really need patches here it seems a waste of time then you distract everything here but i do need some more some more quiz and post Uh, this thing uh this this uh, PBA uh, is not exactly dry up here so I still have some leeway to play with all this the crease and holes but I think this the super glue here is dry up with me okay, which I will show you okay the the one that the two the two lines that I super glue saw is now dry really but not here no not here this this part is still loose this part is not a super glue. It's only this small section with somewhat sip up here and then uh, from this from this one to somewhere here. So somewhere here. So actually the handle but this this handle is uh, reinforced. It's actually reinforced. So maybe I'll work this thing down. Work this thing down to, to show off the handle more. Yeah, next time I think I think with some uh, extra washes or whatever I think I think it's good. No more patches. I think with the extra if any any extra comes on uh, you get lost. Okay so for this piece I could cut it off or I can just you know just me I mean maybe don't cut it off. But if could I keep it somewhere? Yeah, somewhere here. Okay, this this is how a simple detailing of a backpack. Make it make it look busy but not really. There's only there's only a uh sorry uh, I zone out again. Really really can't concentrate now when, when I'm can't speak when I'm concentrating. Okay. Only a uh, use a uh, uh, paint painting rag, okay. A hairnet, some moss, some real, some real thing. Something I just <laughs> noticed there, okay. But it's but it's a uh, it's, it's a kit box things, and then some cords. Then of course with some of the weathering we done uh, yesterday to the backpack, uh, we have something like that. Missing, missing a metal Alice frame, missing a shoulder strap. But in this case, the metal frame, the strap is not even notice noticeable. Okay. So I think we'll end this session here. I'll end this session here. Is there any more, any other thing more important? 
No. I think we end this session here, then I try to finish up on this thing as a whole. Yeah, I think I think this will be the, the final session on the build up uh, to this diagramma. Okay, so those in, those in, those uh, more prominent. I don't say important uh, It's more prominent uh, this more uh, that that do that that I do that needs to be done. Things like the 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 smoke grenade. Now currently this pack, okay. The diorama itself. Those flimsy, whimsy uh, glass made of made of a uh, gummy uh, gummy string. Okay, it's actually a very basic. It's actually very basic, very easy techniques. Okay, okay. Things like bringing in, bringing out the muscles underneath uh, this weathered uh, t-shirt. Painting uh, 1999 uh, his cups, dragon his cups. Okay, it's actually a uh, basic, uh, basic techniques and mistakes like this, like, like this his cup. This one actually had the. This one actually, uh, when I was doing it, uh, I think it's oils, oils that they use now uh, on this one. So I, when I painted it live, uh, it looked it looked good, but overnight actually the oils came up and then almost destroyed the 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 face. But I managed to uh, save save it enough uh, to uh, to be worked into sunburn mistakes. Which bring to this version too. <laughs> okay, so guys, I think uh, I don't know how long is it. I I don't I have no chance to look at look at any clock. So I think I will end this session here. Is actually basic, cheap techniques. Even the even the tarmac, this tarmac. After I remove a. Uh, after I remove the fishing pole, uh, this stomach is actually uh, not those uh, uh, what we call foam core or whatever. It's actually a piece of cardboard. Okay. A used piece of cardboard uh, from my son's uh, polytechnic exhibition. This piece. And of course, the turntable is also free too. It's my wife's uh, kitchen spice rack. Okay, things like that, things like that, uh, it's, all, it's actually uh, uh, what I would call basic modeling technique. You know, all these, all these years, uh, all these years, uh, simple thing like learning how to cast a part, I don't even, I don't even know how to, no. <laughs> I don't even know how to, no. Then surprisingly, actually my daughter, uh, is doing that now. Uh, is doing that for her school project. But throughout all these monkey years, I don't, I don't, I have never, never learned how to cast. So I think this will be the last session of the renting, the how tos for this uh, diorama. Okay, I finish off. I finish off by like, picking off this uh, benchmade logo, which I said but was never did. Retain the helmet, maybe get the get get a few other things going, get the whole thing blended in together. Then I post I post post a, a finishing video like what I did. Uh, give me a second. Uh. Like what I did for my for my for my for my buggy thing with us. I get this thing. Okay, we'll continue the build on this folder. Where is my buggy video? Okay, so uh, let me finish up this thing. This, this, oh my god, one minute 25.
one hour 35 minutes so i finish up this thing the rest of this thing are off camera off camera then uh now my game game plan is after every build or those build those figures that i build uh, when i'm on already build when, when i'm on facebook uh, to become something like that a full fresh edited video with music but as little talking as possible because I think the, the the only comment I make uh, will be please subscribe to my YouTube channel get notified press the bell button and subscribe on my YouTube channel guys ah things like that but otherwise I think it will be as little commentary as possible because all the talking is done here but again with this non 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 commentary uh, uh buggy video since it was done finished just before i got onto youtube it's the reverse maybe uh, comment some commentary will, 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 will be it will be a uh, good uh, for build a uh, build a uh, dioramas but for this for this that i've been yakking on now for all the, for all this episode I think it will be good not to for something like that. Ed edit a video, edit a video, close up, done in a. Uh, I think it's sunlight. Uh, or very bright day daylight that today. Outside my room in my uh, at, at my corridor. Which is, a, which is actually one of these uh, give me a second one of one of the my video how many videos do I have okay so far I have something I've noticed something oh my god I think quite a number I don't know how much how many these are done how many nine years ago when i opened a youtube account then this one was two years ago when i was doing uh chris carl i don't have this figure anymore it's in it is in italy then uh okay dusty also in italy overseas as well i think operation rate ah operation rate wings it's, they are offering overseas already. I don't have the figures with me anymore. Those are commission bills. All in all, someone, some guys will, some guys will, will get me uh, to build uh, to build a figure for them on a certain topic. Okay, guys. I think that's it for this video. Okay, it's the same commercial. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, check out my other videos as well, guys. Okay, we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully soon. Well, I finished the details on all this. Focus, focus. I really need to brush out on everything YouTube. The way I speak the way I shoot how to handle a selfie stick to get a better selfie stick it's very very different from YouTube okay anyways goodbye guys thank you